I am expecting an, an explosion of ideas, mm -hmm. an explosion of uh, an avalanche of innovations. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we have no doubt that young people in Kenya can innovate, they can think, they can imagine. Mm -hmm. I mean, where did M-Pesa come from? M-Pesa has been a phenomenon, a fintech phenomenon that uh, has revolutionized our financial thing today is impossible to, to imagine our financial transaction without a person. It came from the minds of young Kenyans. The other day while we were marking the uh, International Youth Week, the National Youth Week, we discovered a young man called Zach who has given us an electronic phone that we are now using for the Talanta Hela uh, football tournament. An electronic board instead of using plastic board using a marker pen, now we have an electronic board created by a young man from Kiambu called Zach. And so there is no doubt that young Kenyans can innovate, they can imagine a brand new prosperous Kenya. And this initiative we have just launched is the platform, is the wind in their sails. So I, I'm expecting really the youth of Kenya to rally around this, driven by Kenya Invest, and also rally around the presidential innovation challenge driven by the Kenya National Innovation Agency and just drive Kenya to prosperity mm -hmm. and help expand employment opportunities. As I told young people, we can be more than seekers of employment and become co-creators of employment. Mm -hmm. yes. we, know, we know we have the machinani uh, things that are, are going uh, on right now. And uh, how are you planning to reach that boy in the village that doesn't know about any social media uh, things that are, you know, the way we we normally do social media things. And there are those people who are talented and they don't know how to to be able to get to these spaces. Two ways, two things. Number one, we have to build strong partnerships. We have to join dots. You have seen me go on and on and on on the significance of counties being part of this, members of parliament being part of this county assemblies and world representatives, our MCS being part of this, civil society organizations being part of this, youth groups, community groups. This is a whole ecosystem of partnerships because it's not just being done by, and you have seen, Kenyans has started off by showing you the partners. I know a network like Radical has got a network of young people across Kenya so we will answer that question of inclusivity by encouraging broad-based partnerships. And we are asking everybody, please plug in. County assemblies, county governments, MCAs, our members of parliament, please plug in. Civil society, community-based organizations, plug in. We want everybody to be part of this web. Number two, we want everybody to really take advantage of the digital superhighway. This government has invested heavily in the digital superhighway. And the digital space, the virtual space, is the one. What has COVID taught us? COVID has taught us that we are so interconnected. What happens in one corner of the world affects another corner of the world. And the digital space is the forum of that interaction. So this program has to go virtual. It has to go digital. The Kenya uh, National Innovation Agency under our ministry has already put the Presidential Innovation Challenge online. And one of the things we should be discussing with Kenya Invest, with the Kenya National Innovation Agency, is how to support young people at the grassroots to acquire digi skills, digital skills, and then acquire digital uh, equipment mm -hmm. so that they're part of this through the digital space so that we do it both physically and digitally. And, and lastly, maybe we're saying, because uh, we know that uh, we've had uh, senior teams in, in both uh, Kenya Queens and uh, Aram Stars. How are you going to bring these young uh, girls and boys who, who are still in high schools to be able to represent us in national uh, spaces? Because uh, for a good while we've not had uh, junior teams for the national team. You know, until we rope in the grassroots and the youngsters, Kenya will never really hit the top in sports, in any sport. Mm -hmm. You have seen that even previously, sports where we have been very dominant, like rugby, sevens for instance, mm -hmm. or even the 3,000 meter steeplechase, are areas where we have stumbled in recent times. 
because of ignoring that pipeline of going to the grassroots and getting tapping into the young talents, we have an answer. We have actually fixed that problem. And the, bullet, the silver bullet is Talanta Hela. Talanta Hela is an initiative that is now getting firmly rooted into the grassroots. And our priority target for Talanta Hela is the schooling ecosystem. I'm very happy to amplify the fact that all the activities that have taken in schools, taken place in schools this year, the Drama and Film Festival, the ball games, and the music festival that just ended the other day have been supported under Talanta Hela. It's 267 million Kenya shillings. From the Drama and Film Festival, we have identified items that are already being curated at the Kenya National Theatre. The best play from that festival, a play titled The Eyes Have It by Riara School, is being presented at the Kenya National Theatre from November as part of the Kenya National Theatre uh, Awards. From the ball games, we selected 2,000 top talents from all disciplines rugby, football, tennis, hockey, all of them. We brought them to Nairobi, 2,000 school kids for Kenya's first ever national talent camp. Those youngsters have been in Nairobi, they have been trained by elite coaches. It was amazing to see Morris Odumbe, Humphrey Kayange, Joseph Murilla, Musa Otieno, legends of our games interacting with these young people and inspiring them and role modeling for them. And those young people are awestruck. They came to Kasaran Stadium, they played on the pitch, they went to Nyayo Stadium to cheer Kakamega homeboys against an Hilal of Libya, and it was quite an incredible experience. But the most important outcome of that first camp was that scouting was taking place. All federations from the Kenya Rugby Union, from the Kenya Football Federation, they were there to scout youngsters from this school ecosystem. And we have told the Harambe Stars and Harambe Starlets technical benches who are part of that program, that for the first time, I want to see a Harambe Stars under 15, a Harambe Stars under 17, a Harambe Stars under 19. Kenya normally doesn't enter teams at this age capped competitions. But now, starting the next cycle, we are going to see Harambe Stars and the women team, Harambe Starlets, represented at all these age-based levels. Mm -hmm. And our anchor will be the school ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, to the Japan. Kabisa. <laughs> William Ruto <laughs> Okay. I am, I am um, proudly, unapologetically Catholic, and this is my rosary. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.